deep will you go down this roster as you get to the end of the season? And we're going to see a lot of faces. You're going to see a lot of new faces in North Carolina because of injury and a lot of new faces at Notre Dame because they want to play some depth. One of the new faces you're going to see for Notre Dame, you've seen him a bit, but Colin Hagstrom is going to take a lot more draws today because Will Lynch is out. And that's going to put the onus on this part of the game right here because Brady Wabak for North Carolina is one of the best in the country. Chance for Kavanaugh. Shoots. Save made by Colin Krieg. Colin Krieg, another veteran on. Every second of that penalty and didn't take the first shot. They took the right one. It's awesome to watch. McLean, who's big time lacrosse family. His dad played at Penn. Brothers at Duke and Brown. We'll get a violation against Notre Dame. And this is where no North Carolina is just going to have to dominate the faceoff dot today. Get possession. Doesn't need a lot. But when you get the defenseman backing up and your momentum can end up going towards the cage, you can deceive the goalie. That time, Wombach too quick on the whistle. Hagstrom will put it in play for the other. I mean, if you look at Faison and Dobson, who do you long stick, right? Who do you try to remove from that equation? And then they'll just come at you from somewhere else. Because guess what? Devin McLean, the transfer, yeah. has more goals than both of them. They're, they're, they complement each other really well, right? You've got the big lefty hammer in Dobson. You've got the slick Canadian in McLean. And you've got Faison, who's just the uber athlete. Right. It's like they all play a unique role, and they fit together perfectly. More and more popular in college across. The backhanded low to high shot near side. North Carolina hanging in here. And Wombach giving him a chance. Petramala that time with the shot. And he scores! Neither Ensman nor myself could find it initially, but it gets by him. That's what Petramala does, that lefty snipe from the wing. I'm interested to see what happened. Did the ball disappear? Did it go through the net? Let's see if we can see it in slow-mo. First off, the face-off went by Wombach. A nice recognition to get to your best outside shooter on the side there. Nope, just off the top bar near side. We'll get a good look here. Had a little English on it as it dropped. Yeah, bounced between the two pipes and in. Ensman couldn't believe it. He was like, wait a minute. I thought I made that save. Baton, North Carolina with the lead here, 3-2. Wombach throws it straight up in the air. Now the battle for the GB. He'll win it initially, but gets rid of it. And it's picked up by Notre Dame. Conlon coming out of there with it. This is a helter skelter we talk about. Donovan. Making that draft pick. I'm taking Pat Kavanaugh because I think he's the toughest of the three and never can get taken out of a game where we've seen O'Neill against big matchups. Big physical defenseman, maybe not have the impact. And Schellenberger, kind of similar. But the thing, like, Matt, top ten, Matt Brandau from Yale is not even on the top ten. Right. And he's averaging nine points a game. <laughs> like, it's the greatest draft by far, top to bottom, yeah. for pro lacrosse. The first year with teams with their geographic locus. Dobson on his backside with his double fists in the air. Like, that's exactly how we grew it up. It is interesting to me why lacrosse, for whatever reason, doesn't really count hockey assists, right? Even like even more so than maybe hockey. I feel like it's it's directly reflective of, of the offensive play. Keeping the ball moving. Turnover for Notre Dame as they try to get it back to Ensign. And let's see if Carolina can strike here early. Game there to get the 4-3 lead. Notre Dame's. Three faceoffs make it four. They were taking the lead in that department. And that's what North Carolina after transferring from Bryan. Because of the injury situation, too, North Carolina's dealing with. He's in an attack. Back, backhanded low to high shot. You pulling it back to the near side. You could see it coming. As soon as Tomon came around the far side of the cage, you knew Carolina was in trouble. Him and Schellenberger for Virginia do that two man pick game as well as anybody. I think Kavanaugh may be the best at it. The formula that Georgetown used in the only loss suffered by Notre Dame this year on this field early in the year. Keep the scoring down, keep the pace down, limit those.
helter-skelter plays in the middle of the field that come back to haunt you like that one might be, but North Carolina still has possession, but it's not in the books yet. And a ground ball for Chris Cavanaugh in the middle of the field, that, like we've seen so many times to get possession to Notre Dame to start this second half. Notre Dame just dunked it over Krieg. First two goal advantage for any team in this game. And it's the number one team in the country early in this second half. Wompak wins it. Matt can't handle it either, so another unforced error. Credit the wings for Notre Dame again. Applying pressure to Wombach. Chase. Perfect. Up to three goals. Biggest lead of the day for either team. Tyre wins the faceoff. Andrew Tyre going to get some run at the faceoff dot today. Number three in blue for North Carolina. Apple Hill, and they're in. Despite, no, regardless of what happens today, Hughes later today, and then they need to beat Duke next week in Chapel Hill, and they're in. Despite, no, regardless of what happens today. Tire again at the faceoff dot to your point, Maddie. Please. They move the ball and Kavanaugh then finds Walker in the interior. Too many teams, in my opinion. Now, again, I think a lot of it has to do with the two man game, right? That leads to a lot of dodge and then make the pass directly leading to the goal. Notre Dame has that ability, but man, they also have the host and Kavanaugh aware, Pat Kavanaugh aware enough to throw it with a skip pass to his brother. Greenspan wins it. And they just so quickly get into the offense. In that third, push this out to a seven goal advantage. Colin Hagstrom's done very well today. Both he and Andrew Greenspan have shared the faceoff duties for Notre Dame. Greenspan has taken three. You can see what Hagstrom has done in his 13. He's won more than 50% of them. That's all you could ask for your number two faceoff guy filling in for Will Lynch who's out hurt. And assuming Will Lynch's injury isn't anything serious, like this is a, a, a positive development for Notre Dame, right? They're going to look at this and say, look, we have now a second face. To say you have to be precise in your shooting when Liam Entenman's in the cage is an understatement. Greenspan wins that draw for Notre Dame. Oftentimes speaks about the coaching staff and the energy they bring and the belief they bring and the positivity that they instill on a daily basis from a practice perspective as North Carolina pushing again in transition. Shot was high. And Just an absolute bomb. Already has a job on Wall Street as a bond trader for Barclays. He's gonna test the waters of the PLL for sure though. Hopefully he's on Gavin Petraka's desk. <laughs> Former North Carolina attackman. Of course, you would know that. Getting some play in time as a defensive midi, number 12 in white, former quarterback. Decided to now just focus on lacrosse. Transfer from Alabama. Quarterback, quarterback in Alabama to winning a natty potentially as a member of this Notre Dame lacrosse team. There. Different story in the second half. And, and it's hard to continue to play your best brand of lacrosse for an entire four quarters, right? This is the pressure that this Notre Dame puts on you all over the field, on the offensive end, in the middle of the field, on the defensive end, in the cage. Yeah. It, it's just one ginormous obstacle to overcome after another obstacle. 